Hello, DateRange Pika is an extremely popular JavaScript library and it allows you to have a, an input field where you can select a date range or for example select last 30 days. So the problem with this gem is that it uh, relies on jQuery and we don't want to use jQuery in a modern Ruby on Rails application. So we are going to use a rewrite of this gem that is called Vanilla Daytime Range Picker that is everything the same but it doesn't rely on uh, uh, jQuery. And here is the application that we are going to build. So here I have a list of events that are actually Ruby on Rails conferences and we'll be able to search them using this uh, date uh, range picker between dates. So for example, I can select last month, there were none, let me select this month, there is one, let me select uh, June of 2023 and there are going to be quite a lot of them. Okay, so let's uh, add this uh, kind of library into a Ruby on Rails application. Let me start by going to the main branch, git checkout main. And uh, yeah, here I just have a list of events. I don't have the library installed yet. So we are going to start by uh, adding these lines to our uh, HTML. I'll go to our index and uh, add the style sheets and the JavaScript packages. And I'm going to add this. Let's see. Okay, so we have an input field with an ID and we've got a JavaScript where we initialize date range picker on the element with this ID. So here it is. Let's see if this works. Going back to the app. Yeah, so uh, here we have this uh, search, but uh, there is a lot that we can improve. First of all, we don't want to import uh, the CSS in uh, this file. We want to input it in our actual application CSS. So let's uh, copy this. I will say add import and uh, here I will have this uh, path. Okay, next uh, I will remove this line and let's see if it still works. Okay, it still works. Let me also remove moment.js from here. Now moment.js exists as an npm package so we can install it with import maps. Let's try doing this. I will um, say import map pin moment. So you see it added moment to our import map RB and now we can go to application GS and say import moment from moment and say window dot moment equals moment. And now we can uh, try removing moment from here and see if it still works. Okay, so it does work. Uh, and uh, as for removing the script, the problem is that uh, as I understand vanilla date image picker does not exist on npm so there is no easy way to import it with input maps so actually please let me know if you find a good way to uh, remove the script and move it for example to application js so we are going to leave this script uh, as is and go next you see we have this uh, javascript and we don't want to use this instead we are going to use a stimulus controller so let's move this code to a stimulus controller i will say uh, rails generate stimulus and we will name it the uh, date range picker date range picker let's open the newly generated file and we're going to copy this uh, new date range picker right here and instead of uh, looking for an element with id we will say this dot element so we're going to initialize this data controller date range picker on an element directly. Let me remove the ID, add the data to controller date range picker and remove the script. And let's see if it still works. Going back. So it does work. So we have successfully used the uh, stimulus JS for this. And it is much cleaner now. But uh, next we want to actually make the search work. So let's uh, add a search form and add this field to a search field. So let's say equals form with URL uh, events path method get do form. We'll have an end statement. We will have a submit button. And we'll have a field. It's going to be a text field. Uh, we will name it, for example, uh, what do we have here? We have start date. We will have start date bet theme. 
and uh, we will say uh, uh, data controller will be date range picker. Let's see if we have it broken. So here it works and here it also works. Okay, let's try searching for something. I will click apply, click search and uh, you see whenever I clicked search the date here was bounced back to the today's date. So you see now it is the date range. I click search and it bounces back to today. So we don't want to bounce it back to today. We are going to use the start date between from the params in the value. So value will be params start date between. Now I refresh and you see the date here has been bounced to the actual period that we have submitted. I click apply, search and this is saved. I refresh and here it is still correct. Okay, so uh, next let's uh, actually make the search query work. You see we are submitting the form it goes to our events controller index action and let's put a debugger here let's uh, try submitting it once again i will select uh, june for example click apply search and uh, you see i am now in the binding so let's select params we have params uh, start date between and we're going to pause this and search for start date between these uh, uh, two dates. So I will say uh, if uh, params start uh, date between is present, then we're going to have something uh, else. We're going to have all the events. So we're going to have here like events dot where start date is uh, between two dates. And what do we have here? So start date between. And uh, as an example, it would be this uh, value. Let me just uh, save it for us to know that uh, this is example data. And we're going to pass this data to two dates and search between two dates. So I will say starts equals uh, here. You see autopilot is helping me. Param start date between uh, dot first. Let's see if this works. Okay, here is the first. And I will do the same with ends. Dot second. Okay, here is the second date. And let's see if it actually works uh, to date. I will say starts dot to date. It works. Ends dot to date. And it doesn't work. So we are going to have to pass it to a date in a slightly different way. We are going to say date dot strp time will have ends and uh, the date format is going to be m d and full year let's see if this works i'm going to pass the end date and you see it worked now so we're going to pass both the start date and end date um, like this let's say ends uh, for select and we'll have the same starts for select Let's see if uh, all this code works. It does, and now we are going to search for start date uh, between starts for select and uh, ends for select. Let's see if it works. And let's say events dot count. Yeah, there are just five events in this uh, uh, time frame, so it seems to be working. Let's uh, click continue. I will remove the debugger. I will uh, go back here and let's see. Okay, I will search all events in, uh, let's say, July. Apply and there are none. Oh uh, yeah, we're using this field. I will choose uh, all the events in uh, June once again, or let's say beginning of June. Apply. And you see there are three events that are in the first 10 days of June. So our search works. And yeah, looks uh, quite good. Now let's extend our uh, date range picker a bit so that it looks uh, nicer and we also have more options. For example, here we can select today, yesterday, last seven days and so on. How can uh, we do this? Let's uh, see, there must be a function range. Uh, range. 
change. Yeah, so here are a few options for different ranges. Let's uh, add these. I will say uh, uh, here now. I will uh, say we'll have params and we'll have these ranges. Let's see if it works. I go back and here we can select a range. So let's select this month, search, there is one. Last seven days, there is also one. Today, none. Okay, so this works. But uh, the date range picker has kind of disappeared. We have to actually click custom range. So it's not uh, very nice looking. Uh, to return it back, we'll uh, add a function that says uh, always show uh, calendars true. Let's go back and you see we have the calendar displayed. Okay. And um, yeah, we can also remove these uh, apply buttons. Let's say auto apply will be true. I will refresh. Uh, okay, I made a typo here, auto apply. So you see, uh, the apply buttons have disappeared and I just select and it is applied. I just select and it is applied. So looks uh, better. And also usually I like showing the week numbers. So we would say show uh, week uh, numbers true. I refresh and here we also see the week numbers. So looks uh, quite nice. And uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, basically it. So we have installed the uh, date range picker in the Ruby on Rails application. We have moved uh, uh, the code to stimulus controllers. We have used input maps. Uh, and we have customized the search and now we can search for Ruby on Rails conferences between uh, a date range. So I guess uh, that's it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.